Hi, this is Irvin Ho. Let me show you how we can remove background. As we know that if we have an image like this with a plain background, we can easily make the background transparent by clicking to this we this image, go to format picture in the picture to kick out this color, and then there's a tool called set transparent color. Once you set transparent color, you see the icon is changed to uh, somewhat different. You click on the plain background and it will automatically remove all the background with the same color. But what if the background having two different color? So if it's like this, let us try. Click on this and I go to format, color. And if I choose set transparent color, if I choose one of the color, well, it seems like it doesn't remove especially if the background is having some shadows or shadings so it's difficult to remove using set transparent color especially if some images like this let's say if i want to remove the, all the background and remain the lady in the middle how can i proceed with that so that is another tool called remove background in powerpoint itself so click to the picture on the picture and go to picture tools format and you can see there's a tool called remove background click on this remove background at the very beginning powerpoint will automatically analyze the picture and uh, give you some give you an options of the background to be removed and also the images uh, the sections is uh, to be retained to remain so let's say this is not what i want i just want the lady in the center so what I can do is that I choose these two called mark areas to keep. Once I click these two and you can see my cursor is changed to a pencil like a cursor. What I can do, I just continue click on your left hand mouse while clicking and then move your cursor to form a boundary of the image that you want to retain. Let's say this is the boundary. Okay, once I let go, PowerPoint will automatically choose, ah, this is the image that I want to retain. However, sometimes uh, PowerPoint will also choose some of the images that is quite nearby to the, the boundary that I've drawn. Um, nothing. We, we, what we can do is that now we remove those that we don't want. To remove the images or the sections that we don't want, click on choose this mark areas to remove one you once you choose this is the same steps where you can either cross it out let's say cross it like this then you will automatically cross out that section huh, there's a quite a number of uh, steps you need to do to, in order to get it right uh, especially if the background is having different different types of uh, images or, or colors let's say for this one so i just continue to remove it right same it quite close to what I want especially but here is a little bit I just draw a little bit more see now almost there here a little bit more I can draw a little bit more wow you see this is what I want let's say oh here a little bit need to touch up also I need to draw this section great you see I almost there or oh, even if it close to perfect that what I want I just accept keep changes and you see that now i have this particular image that i have i have removed all the background that i don't want okay so let's say this lady that i have i wish to i mean create some form like this effect where this lady is have color um, like like uh, uh, popping up uh, on the whole image and the remain image at the back i make it into a more grayish uh, color how can we do that so i use back the same picture what i can do is that i click on this picture and go format and make my the color of this picture a bit dull let's say to to this one all right gray scale make it to gray scale and i go to copy the the lady that i have cropped just now uh, or not crop the lady that i have removed the background go back to this image and i paste once I paste, you can readjust it nicely so that it looks like it fits in the picture. And you see now, I can have a picture as good as like the lady in the middle popping up with colors, whereas others remain as grayscale. 
This is how we make use of the remove background tools in order for us to uh, remove all the backgrounds, unnecessary backgrounds that we don't want. Right? I hope you enjoy the steps over here. Happy trying. Bye.